I'm sure that most of you know that a lot of the plot holes from Harry Potter come from the Marauders map. One of the most popular ones that I get sent on Twitter and Instagram all the time, by the way, you can follow me at Gorman Seamus, at Seamus Gorman 4, is the fact that Fred and George never noticed while looking at the Marauders map that their brother was sleeping with a man called Peter Pettigrew every night. This has been memed all over the internet and is probably the reason you clicked on this video. And before today, I just come to accept that this was something that JK Rowling never foresaw and was just a mistake she made while writing the book. Because as hard as it is to believe, she is still human. Somehow. Maybe she isn't. But I actually think that the internet has found a solution to this problem in recent years, and today I've decided to make a video on it. How you doing? Now the majority of people who have attempted to solve this plot hole have usually just come to the conclusion that Fred and George never noticed Peter Pettigrew. Making points like they weren't looking for him, or they weren't observant enough to see him, or the fact that just Hogwarts is so big they might not even notice him. But I just feel like this is taking the easy way out, and that's not how we do things on this channel. They say that they got the Marauders map when they were in their first year, and before the rap belonged to Ron, it belonged to Percy, which means that they were attending this school for five years without noticing this weird Peter Pettigrew guy following their brothers around. Like, Ron had scabbers with him basically at all times. Like, he even slept with him. How they didn't notice this is, is impossible. But if you're for some reason not willing to believe this, I want to bring forward a second point. Fred and George give the map to Harry in December because they describe it as an early Christmas present. Early Christmas present for you, Harry, he said. Fred pulled something from inside his cloak with a flourish and laid it upon one of the desks. It was a large, square, very worn piece of parchment with nothing written on it. And Scabbers doesn't go missing until, like, March. Scabbers, look! Scabbers! Ron yelled into the stunned silence. He's gone! Okay, so it doesn't specifically say it was March, but it happened just before the Gryffindor vs. Ravenclaw Quidditch game, and that happened just before the Easter holidays, and Easter was early April that year, so I'm gonna guess it was March. And then, of course, Lupin confiscates the map from Harry about a chapter after that, but we'll get back to that, because the point is, Harry had the map for three months while Scabbers was with Ron, and didn't notice that his name was Peter Pettigrew and that he was on the map. Yo, can you hear that? Yeah, I, I can hear it. What, what is... Th the people who have only seen the films are claiming that Harry does see Peter Pettigrew on the map. Yeah, if you've only seen the films, this is one of those cases where the story in the book is completely different to the film. And in this book, Harry never notices Peter Pettigrew on the Marauder's map. Yeah, I just wanted to say the film is wrong. And unlike the argument that can be used for Fred and George that they may not have known who Peter Pettigrew is, Harry would have 100% known exactly who he was. I'm sorry, but this is a mistake. Harry Potter has a plot hole. Fortunately, J.K. Rowling, your boy, thinks he's found a solution. Nope, to Self, never refer to yourself as your boy again. What if the Marauders weren't visible on the map? Okay, before you come at me by saying that's the most stupid and ridiculous thing you've ever heard, because obviously Lupin sees Peter Pettigrew on the map and that's how he knows he's still alive. Let me rephrase that. What if the Marauders weren't visible on the map to people that weren't the Marauders themselves? Which means that James, Remus, Sirius and Peter can see each other on the map, but if the map got into someone else's hands, they wouldn't appear. And this may sound completely crazy and kind of defeats the point of the map, but this is exactly what happened. The map got into the hands of Harry, Fred and George and they can't see Peter Pettigrew. And I've got evidence in favour of the fact they've hidden themselves on this map. First and foremost, as I've already covered, there is no reference to a non-marauder seeing a marauder on the marauder's map. The only actual example of a marauder being seen on the map is when Lupin sees Pettigrew. Everyone thought Sirius killed Peter, said Lupin, nodding. I believed it myself, until I saw the map tonight, because the marauder's map never lies. Peter's alive. So they can see each other on the map, which makes sense, you know, in case they need to find each other in a time of need while they're sneaking around the Hogwarts grounds. But then they can't be seen if someone else has the map. Which also makes sense. Because, you know, if the map got into the hands of someone they didn't particularly like, like Snape, they wouldn't want to be trapped. But the real question that's probably on the tip of your tongues is, is it possible to do this? Because we really don't know that much about how the Marauder's map was made. But I think it is. And I think I can prove this. From what we do know about the creation of the Marauder's map from Pottermore, is that the magic used in the map's creation is advanced and impressive. It includes the Hinoculus charm, enabling the possessor of the map to track the movements of every person in the castle. The key word here being 
person. Which I take to mean that the map only tracks people, as in you can't track all the animals in the castle as well. And to go with this point, there is no reference to any animal ever being seen on the map. The only reason you can see Wormtail is because technically he is a human and the map has the Honoculus charm on it which can see through Animagus transformation. But despite all this, there is actually one animal you can see on the Marauder's map. Any guesses to who it is? Mrs. Norris. It was a map showing every detail of the Hogwarts castle and grounds, but the truly remarkable thing was the tiny ink dots moving around it, each labelled with a name in minuscule writing. Astounded, Harry bent over it. A labelled dot in the top left corner showed that Professor Dumbledore was pacing his study. The caretaker's cat, Mrs. Norris, was prowling the second floor. So why is Mrs. Norris, of all animals, the exception, the only thing you can see on the Marauder's map? And this is actually another largely debated topic. A lot of people theorising that Mrs. Norris is an animagus, or a human-to-animal transformation gone wrong. Which would explain why she's so smart, and may even explain why Filch has such a close connection with her. But JK Rowling has denied all these claims, and in a response in an interview in 2011, she claimed that she's just an intelligent and unpleasant cat. Which reopens the question why Mrs. Norris was visible on the Marauder's map wide open. And the answer to me seems pretty obvious. There's only really one possible answer. The Marauders who made the map were clearly able to make it so that certain things of their own choice could appear on the map. They would obviously have wanted to keep tabs on where Mrs. Norris was during their time at Hogwarts while they were sneaking around. She was Filch's second-hand man. Cat? Second-hand cat just doesn't have as nice a ring to it. And the fact that they seemingly can make it so that certain things can appear on the map. Why wouldn't they be able to make it so that certain things couldn't appear on the map? Like, there really isn't that much more to it. They created the map. Is it too much of a stretch to believe that they made it so that other people couldn't see them on the map too? I really think this makes so much more sense than just suggesting that Fred and George never noticed Peter Pettigrew on the map. So yeah, I think I've solved this Harry Potter plot hole. You're welcome, J.K. Rowling. Also, to those of you who have made videos on this topic before and just suggested that Fred and George never noticed Pettigrew, um, this is the new solution, so I'm sorry I've proven you wrong. This may be totally wrong, and I'm sorry if it is, but that is a beauty of Harry Potter, you know, we get corrected, and it actually doesn't feel too bad getting corrected. So I've just got one question to ask you, Sophie. Did it feel good, though? So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to watch another Harry Potter video, you can click here. If you want to subscribe, you can click here. Check out my other social medias, specifically Snapchat, because I'm going to America tomorrow, and I'm going to be recording some bits and putting it on my story. And you're going to want to see this, so trust me, at Seamus Gorman 4, add me on Snapchat. And yeah, I've got nothing else to say, so I guess I'll see you guys next time.